Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of To The Point. Today's topic of discussion is Biosphere Reserves. First of all, let's see why this is in news. Recently, the Cold Desert Biosphere Reserve in Himachal Pradesh was added to UNESCO's World Network of Biosphere Reserves, marking the 13th Biosphere Reserve in India. This addition highlights the increasing importance of biodiversity conservation in India and marks a significant achievement in the country's environmental protection efforts. Now, let's discuss what is the World Network of Biosphere Reserves. The World Network of Biosphere Reserves consists of a dynamic and interactive network of sites of excellence. The WNBR operates under the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization's Man and Biosphere Program. It promotes North-South, South-South and South-North-South collaboration. It represents a unique tool for international cooperation through the exchange of experiences and know-how, capacity building and the promotion of best practices among biosphere reserves. The WNBR now includes 785 sites in 142 countries with an additional 1 million square kilometers of natural areas brought under the protection since 2018, equivalent to the size of Bolivia. Now, let's talk about biosphere reserves. A biosphere reserve is an international designation by UNESCO for significant natural and cultural landscapes covering extensive terrestrial, coastal or marine ecosystems or a combination of these. They are an in-situ conservation method that balances economic and social development with cultural and natural preservation, exemplifying harmonious human-environment coexistence. Biosphere reserves serve three main functions – conservation, protecting biodiversity and cultural diversity, economic development, promoting socio-culturally and environmentally sustainable growth, logistics support, facilitating development through research, monitoring, education and training. Structure of BR Biosphere Reserve achieve their functions through three zones, core areas, strictly protected for conservation of landscapes, ecosystems, species and genetics. Buffer zones surround the core for eco-friendly activities supporting research, monitoring, training and education. Transition area where communities engage in socio-culturally and ecologically sustainable economic and human activities. Now, lastly moving on to the biosphere reserves in India. India launched the Biosphere Reserve Scheme in 1986, guided by the UNESCO MAB program, as India is a signatory to the landscape approach promoted by MAB. Under the scheme, funding is provided in a 90 10 ratio to the northeastern region states and three Himalayan states in a 60 40 ratio to other states for the maintenance, improvement, and development of biosphere reserves. The state government prepares the management action plan for each reserve, which is then approved and monitored by the Central MAB Committee. India has 18 biosphere reserves, of which 13 are now listed in UNESCO's WNBR. Now, it's time for today's practice question. Consider the following statements about UNESCO World Network of Biosphere Reserves. 1. The Cold Desert Biosphere Reserve in Himachal Pradesh is India's 13th entry in WNBR. 2. UNESCO's biosphere reserves are always located in areas where humans have minimal impact on the environment. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two. D. Neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thank you for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.